This is Michigan Constitution Crusader out here, city of Melvindale, municipal offices and police department. The First Amendment here. Out here with stanky pants. Oh, they close at 4.30, good. They're ready. Yeah, they are. She's going right straight over to the police department. No, I'm just looking around, thanks. Treasurer's office, okay. Do I need to mark any of these off? Or <laughs> that was weird. I don't know. A little bit. I would agree. Detroit Legal News. Wayne Law students take part in oral competition. I need electrical, general building, and the Council Chambers. Yeah. Council Chambers. Oh, they got George Washington in here. Cool.
Hello, sir. Recording started. Oh, it's dark in there. I didn't even see that. Yeah. She's allowed to have that long hair. That's a safety hazard. Right. A suspect could grab it. Right. And she's a sergeant. Mm -hmm. mm. He's a corporal. He's a corporal. Cool. Bank payoff gets underway. Bet they owe the bank now. Right. Everybody owes the bank right now. Right? I don't. Me neither. Oh yeah, there he is. I don't know if he's the chief or not. I don't see his name tag. I don't see nothing on his lapel. Hmm. I don't know. There was a lady in there. She booked. Huh. So yeah, I'm thinking that's yeah, that's the chief. No, that's what he's got Lieutenant Barb. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, there's their little holding cell. They got a holding cell right there. Well, I couldn't see through you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We, went, we walked off now. Oh, oh well. I couldn't. I think I couldn't tell if it was Malinese or German Shepherd. Oh, right on. How you doing, gentlemen? How you doing? How's it going? Good, good. Not bad, not bad. Can I ask us if we need anything? They got a gel cell here, you say? Yeah, right. Look through that tiny little window right there. Oh, yeah. A little holding cell in there. Yeah, we're holding cell right there. Got a little nice, comfy mattresses they right. have. Right. Yeah, you don't get those at Detroit Detention Center. Nope, nice, concrete, concrete ones. slab. Yeah. They're flat as pancake. I had a concrete slab. I didn't get one of those. You poor guy. Sucked. <laughs> Back there That's cruel and unusual punishment. It is, yes. He's gearing up. It looks is he like. going to take his dog with him? Oh, he's gearing up. He put his, put his vest on. Oh. You got a lieutenant bars. Oh. Chiefs usually have the, the lease. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the chief or not, but yeah. I, I don't know. Oh. Can I get an officer complaint for him? Sure. How you doing? What's up? Good. I like your puppy. Yeah, that's Spence. That's Spence? Oh, you have him readily available. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, is, he, is, he the, is he the pet? Or is he no, he's, he's, he's actually our, our canine dog. Oh, okay. He's actually my canine dog. So. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. How long has he been in service? Um, I got him when he was a year old. And he's eight now, so. Oh, seven so he's years. almost retirement he's probably, age. Hey, probably, he's he's good barking at me. No, I can't he's stand the police dogs when you get anywhere near the vehicle or something. Go nuts. Now we. Uh, oh yeah, he's we beautiful. We train our dogs to be uh, good PR, public relations. Right. Because nowadays dogs shouldn't be used, you know, in an aggressive manner unless you need them to be. That's right. right. So like I go to. Um, 
the elementary schools during career day and I'll show off my dog so all the kids can pet my dog and that's that's what it's all about. It's Absolutely. It's gapping that bridge between that's right. civilians and police that's officers. Right. That's right. So there's plenty of times that I've stopped. That's what we're here to do. Yeah, and that's where I have absolutely no problem. You know, yeah, like we'll, say hi to you. we'll show the tyrants and hopefully those departments get rid of them. Right. Yeah. And, I mean, and we'll have great conversations with guys like and you. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, you, it know, is, you, have, really you have as much right to be here as anybody else does with a camera or no camera. Camera. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah. 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 Same right to be here. These so, guys did great. That's yeah. what we told them yeah. over there. You guys yeah. aren't doing so, anything wrong. Have you no. seen our Riv River Rouge videos yet? No. <laughs> look up either Frickin' Media or Michigan Constitutional Crusader and look at how River Rouge acted. Yeah. Okay. Their sergeant was a clown. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's I told him to shut up because he was being an asshole. And she, she she what did that set him off? Carry on. That's right. Make the rest of us look That's right. right. That reflects on your department. Yeah, it it's, absolutely it's does. They, they've gotten thousands of phone calls and emails because of that sergeant. And a month and a half later, the chief deputy said we're still, still getting, getting phone calls and emails about it. So. And that's, that's a shame yeah. because, especially nowadays, you know, it's, right. it's, there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras mm. everywhere. And I think they teach that in the academy now, don't they? Always presume you're on camera. It's not just that. I mean, they. they Always, they teach you that, but it's a different day. Mm -hmm. It's not the '70s anymore. Oh, right. Definitely. Everybody's no, got a camera. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's it's the camera, but it's also how you treat people. Yeah, everybody's oh, aware. Right. A lot oh, more yeah. people are aware of their civil rights and what you right. can and can't do right. as an officer. Right, and and that's where it comes. You know, right. We, we just want cops to you know do their job and follow the yep. law like we're expected to. Yeah. Exactly. There's and a lot of officers out there that. They, they abuse their authority as an officer. Yeah. Or they have no clue about constitutional exposed. rights. You know, those, those are Sadly. people that need, need to be taught and, and learn yeah. what, what the rights are. About. Right, right. Because yeah. like an me, officer I'm, is only as good as his training, I suppose. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'm a firm believer on that. You learn every day. Absolutely. No what if you, you ain't learn to do something new every day, you're doing something wrong. Yep, and then, yep. then that's where the problem lies. Yep. So, like, with me, I'm a fair and impartial uh, instructor, so that's I teach you know how there are different biases in the world, and, and humans don't even recognize their biases. That's and that's true. one of the things that we teach on is, is how to show people what the biases are, that's right. and, and how to recognize it, and how to change your mind, your, your way of thinking that's to it. better yourself. That's what, right. what it's all about, that's being better about. people. I like yeah. the fact that you guys have these readily available. Yes. That's all. I asked her for it, and she immediately, yep, here it is right here. That's awesome. I'm actually Not that I need to fill this out. You can have it back if you want it. But. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> we don't have a complaint on officer here. We just collect them from, in case we ever need it in the future, you know what I mean? It's you know, it's there. about seeing whether or not you guys... Because some departments, oh, well, you got to talk to this guy. Or you got to go It's like, no, 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 you need to give me a piece of paper yeah. Yeah. so that I can yeah. do it at my leisure when I don't feel intimidated with a bunch of people with sure. badges and guns. Yeah, that's what Red Fruit you know? today. They're like, well, if you want to file a complaint, you need to speak to our command. I'm like, but that's intimidating. Yeah, that's I don't want to talk to them. No, get a piece of paper. should be able to get a piece of paper. And, you. Yeah. Yeah. and, and that's, that's why you walk up to that desk and say you want an officer complaint form, they're right up there. Yeah, and she handed it right to me. Not a problem. You, yeah. awesome. you can slide that back in there. No, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been great. What's that? What kind of camera is that? Yeah. Cam Pro. Cam Pro? Yeah. yeah. I know we got, uh, that's a pretty cool body camera you've got. Yeah. 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 Nine hours of recording time. Does it twist on or twist off or does it just pop off? Oh, it's okay. a clip. That's secure. Right. So we got these to where they actually you have to turn them upside down in order to bring them up, so they're a little bit more secure. Okay. One of the things also, when they're, they're upside down, they're off. No, no, no. Oh, it it stays like, on. It won't but come off like this. You yeah. Flip it. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Uh, oh, can I get a cool. picture of that that's mount? That's one of the things that is that an awesome know, mount. Just yeah. Knocked off. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's so what our problem is. Push it down a lot of all the way. Turn busy or, you know, counterclockwise. Or and now you got a scuffle. Hmm. What brand of camera is that? These are L3. Uh, the model, I don't know. So yeah, just looking up. Yeah, yeah, we had a, so a different we L3 before that didn't have the storage memory. These are How long can those record for? I don't know. I honestly don't know, but it lasts my shift. Most of the next shift. Oh, so two shifts worth. And you guys work twice. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, he, we, oh, okay. he has a uh, uh, th uh, uh, 
three so probably days. 10, 10 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Plus we have uh, surplus ones, so they stay in the dock while we wear them. Then when we're done with them, we dock them. The other officers take the ones that are fully charged. And when they sometimes they go out of service. And when they dock, they automatically upload. Yeah, awesome. It's undisputable. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think so. I think if we're going to have the technology, it should be used in the right way. You know what I mean? But you'd be surprised how many places we go and they just absolutely flip out over our camera. And I don't understand like, the reason they want Lake County either. Sheriff was awesome. Yeah, Lake yeah. County Sheriff, you he, he yeah. was a superb you want? sheriff. Please. He invited yeah, us in the back, yeah. showed us his office. We had a great conversation. Yeah, into the secured area. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was a super good yeah. guy. And that's, what we're, that's who we want to meet, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we meet a lot of tyrants, too. But I, the more we whoops. do this, the better it's getting, though. Yeah. And that is, that's the honest truth, because I've been doing it a year and a half. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's showing that we're making change. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's getting better. It's getting so better. Police officers are just visual <clears throat> representation of the government. I my as long as they have the uniform on. Right. Once right. I take this off, that's right. I'm you're just, you. You're I'm just an individual. Right. You're an agent yeah. of the government. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Absolutely. That's what like, we try to tell city employees that work yeah. behind the counters. You you still work for the government. So Absolutely. your individual rights go on the back burner to your duties as a public servant Certainly. or a public official. Could not agree more, yes. I got arrested in Corona by the chief of police in Corona for recording in public. I was in a public park. They had a guy that was up on one of those big, huge power towers <laughs> talking about how he was going to jump off. And in the, the uh, radio call, it said he didn't want to see any cops. Okay. So I pull up there, and what do the cops do? They pull right up to the damn tower. Yeah. You know, so I'm recording the cops because somebody that's mentally unstable, <laughs> that most cops have no clue how to handle You guys that. aren't really trained on how to deal with that for the most part. It's getting better now. Yeah, it, it is now, now yes. Time but goes. So, so the state police asked me to move back, a, which I did. So when this oh, chief oh, of police oh, came, oh, I was 477 oh, feet oh, away from that house. In no way was I interfering, yep. you know. Awesome. So and he comes up, you got to get out of here. This is my business card. Okay, cool. Thank you. And I said, uh, no, this is the First Amendment. Oh, thank you. This is the First Amendment protected activity. Fantastic. You know, I'm well, press. And he's like, no, you're not. And so we went back and forth three or four times, and he did. He arrested me. He said I was uh, resisting, obstructing, and interfering. Uh, well, I was never charged. I spent 22 hours in the county jail, but I was never charged. And three days later, he lost his job. Because on camera, he said, I don't give a fuck about your rights. I'm not politically correct. Take that and shove it up your ass. You know what I mean? Uh, when you actually have authority, goes along. yeah. You know, he, he he tried to say that it was his town, so he was trying to be a king of the town rather than the law enforcement. Because I mean, you guys have no authority over citizens unless they commit a crime or a traffic offense. And he didn't understand that. A warren cop, a warren, a warren cop, come out to the city hall, and I got ninety five thousand dollars for it. So. <laughs> you know, we, because we was upsetting yep. people and this, that, and the other. And he says, so what are you, the feelings police now? And he says, yeah, today we are. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that was hilarious. Are you going to represent your city? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah, we run into that a lot, but this is a nice, refreshing pace here today, guys. Absolutely. You know, I wasn't sure what to make of these two guys when they first walked in, but oh no, I no, told them I didn't answer questions, and they just left me alone. So I was like, cool. Yeah, no, it's... it's our FTO program, that's, that's what we teach. Cool. It's, it's start here, and when you have to get here, you get to here, but then you come back down to here. Right. You know? Right. De escalate. Yeah, Whenever possible. Yeah. Yep. Always de escalate if possible. And always right. listen to And always be story. professional. Yes, you have to. We had a captain call, uh, call us a fool. Uh, where was that? Was Ludington. <laughs> Ludington. They was having a detectives class in the basement on the city hall side, so it was all open to the public. So we walked down the stairs. The doors are wide open, so we're standing there recording this class. And this captain comes out of nowhere, grabs my arm, drags me out of the doorway, closes the door, and I'm now I'm like, what the, what the hell's wrong with you? Don't put your damn hands on me, man. I'm not. And I was going off. I followed him all the way to the police department. Got a complaint. He come out. There was a citizen standing there. He was complaining about my camera. And instead of de-escalating the situation, the captain comes out and says, oh, you guys are just fools. Leave that man alone. I'm like, I'm not doing anything to him. I'm just standing here with my camera. I got my FOIA request, my complaint form for you. And, uh, you know, now I'm standing here doing what I'm awfully allowed to do. And, sure. you know, it was, you know, when 
a lot of officers are that way. When you prove them wrong, that is an ultimate blow to their ego. Right. So then they go to you know calling your names and saying things like that. And that's not what I'm here for. I right. want to educate you, but you got to be susceptible to it. Right. If you're just going to be an egomaniac and let your badge go to your head, I can't teach you anything, but I can make you a YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> and really, technically, if you think about it, there should be a citizen sitting in on every one of those training courses. Sure. Because we should know what you guys are getting trained. Sure. Well, because we might be able to say, hey, you forgot about this right here. Yeah. Maybe you should add that to you your know, next class. Well, that and our tax dollars are probably funding that class and all the detectives exactly. or officers it's, that it's are It's funny attending. that you say that because that's something that I'm looking into now is the training that I'm teaching in-house. I would like to teach it to the public so then they have a, a transparency of what I'm teaching my officers. Absolutely. Yeah. So that I'll way, volunteer. Yeah. And I... I'll let you guys know. I got your card. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any. So, yeah, I'll be more than happy. Uh, to, I'd like to go over, uh, just like I was talking about, the fair and partial policing. Uh, citizens have to realize that we are being trained for that. And, and we are learning how to de-escalate. We're learning how to communicate mm -hmm. and understand the biases. That's a big step. Bias doesn't mean that you're racist. Exactly. It's something that you're going up with and you don't even realize right. you have. Right. Exactly. Until you you're taught to And I would be more than happy to help you with the training. Yeah. You know. So I'm I'm all for it and you know I, I've been to that training, but then again, there's other people just like PTSD. PTSD is another big oh, yeah. animal that's out there for veterans. I'm a right. veteran. Well, thank you and for your service. Thank you. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of veterans that have PTSD that isn't getting the help that they need. Yes, totally. And mm -hmm. officers aren't trained on how to help them. No. Right. That's a big issue. With most of those yeah, cases, any, just any uh, mental issues, yeah. officers just yeah. don't have the training. And, and that's, that's another big thing. You know, yeah. that's been thrown, they've it, been thrown out on the street because the government closes them all. Yeah. And now we're dealing with them and we have no training whatsoever. Well, not deal the the, the federal dangerous. government some should some really... dangerous. Create a funding program a so that each department has, you know yeah. can have at they, least one on staff so uh, psychologist. I know George is really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know right, like there's exactly. a couple states that are exactly. doing that. Me, I'm always, always in office. Out, they're starting I really am, and I'd rather laugh and have yeah, a good time or, and a great you know, conversation. As it starts than coming towards you know, confrontation, us, that's but I can get conversation. Or even if they could cross train, you know, one or two officers on at least the basics of psychology. Yeah. That part of my thumb and that's, that's one of the things that we're looking at as far and as it was still healing and had it wrapped up and I was Autism holding is another like one that yeah. And we couldn't get into the lobby of the sheriff. Yeah, there's so many different levels of autism, too. You know, some are high functioning, and then there's the ones they can't even speak. Right. But they can if function the physically. Yeah. Yeah. Have a routine. Yeah. You do something and, uh, outside of that routine. So I guess I looked at the window. Yeah. If you don't understand how to write it down. And when he busted out of the door, right. he so was recording him, that, that, and he just reaches out of nowhere and grabs my gimbal and my bags, thumb reach, uh, and yanks my stuff down. It has the weighted blanket. Oh, my thumb. It has some fidget stuff. And, okay. Uh, to get we, them awesome. To awesome. get them to calm down, yep. And I so, filed a complaint. And then we're going to be going through that assault. training. So That's assault. Just, just like with bad. most departments, right we're the same type of department. We're learning. You know what I mean? If I did that to you... I, I wish now, more departments would grow because some of them they're just like wanting to stay with that good old boys club. Some of them are still trying. Right. Well, that that brings to mind you know the, the whole blue line thing. Now, as far as the blue line, a lot of people call it gang. I don't, but. It's great, the camaraderie, that you know, that's part of that, but there's so many people that are pissed off because a lot of times they'll disgrace a U.S. flag and put their blue line on a flag like that, and, and that's, you know, that's kind of pissing on veterans, if you think about it, you know. So I'm fine with the, the blue flag with a 
blue or the black flag with a blue line through it without the desecrated U.S. flag as part of it. I'm trying to be quiet right now. Leaves outside on a side guard. And there's three deputies out there, and he says to me, why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm not yelling. I said, this is not a You know, and, and if somebody wants to display that at their home, that's fine. But a police department should never display that, you know, just because there's so many people out there that are on the fence about it. Tried snatching it out of my hand, pulled out of my hand, snapped it into We have it. We've been donated. With, with a supervisor standing right there. Right. Because so many people place. think, oh, they're part of the gang. There was. You know. I'll we'll try to keep it neutral. And, and I try to, and some, yeah, when you're being, when, when that's the way it should be. Like, you don't have a, a right to tell me to keep my voice right. down outside. But, like, I'm, I'm not standing here screaming and causing a disturbance. Right. That's an unlawful order. <laughs> And I don't yeah. have to follow Try that. To what we can. So I respond with you. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back anytime you guys want to come in here. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, send me an email, if, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get a hold of us, man. We'll be down. That's, we're all about yeah. bridging the gap. Yeah. And... Relief day shift. Oh, okay. <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're right, guys, stay safe out there, man. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. appreciate you so much, man. You guys have been phenomenal, man. Thank you. So, yeah, so we'll much. keep you posted on this, that. Because right, yeah. Any input is, is good. One of the best departments Absolutely. Michigan I've come across, I think. Yeah. Next to that Lake County Sheriff's Department, he was pretty good. Right, yeah. But we had an issue with his deputy in the courthouse, so I had to ding him a little bit for that. <laughs> <so>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys have a great day. Yeah, All right, guys. See y'all later. Thanks. Right, what do we got? Cool. <laughs> one more through the city hall? Or no? Nah. Okay. Great that department. was the most pleasant police department ever. They were super pleasant, man. So now we got Lake County Sheriff and a police and he's department. he's trying to reach out to the community to do something different. Absolutely. I, like I really hope he contacts me. I do, too. I'd be down for that. Heck, yeah. Come and record their training and help with their training. That'd be awesome. Right. All right, guys, and we are out of here.